After such a monumental success, it was pretty inevitable that a sequel game would follow on from the original Lucasfilm game classic, The Secrets of Monkey Island. And in 1992, it appeared in the form of Monkey Island 2, The Chuck's Revenge. The game starts off in a very cinematic style, with the hero of the first adventure, Guybrush Threatwood, in a rather tricky predicament. The adventure then continues in a sort of extended flashback as Guybrush explains how he came to be in this situation. After a film-like introduction, complete with Hollywood-style credits, you are left to wander around the town of Woodtick on Scab Island. Here you come across a number of characters who will each give you information as to your ultimate goal. Obviously it's not as simple as finding out what to do and then doing it, you must overcome a number of puzzles before you get anywhere near your objective. Even when you think you've done what you are supposed to do, things usually take a devious twist, opening up another side of the story for you to investigate. The game's control system is very similar to the first Guybrush adventure. You move the pointer around the screen to highlight interesting items or characters and select an action from a list at the bottom of the screen to interact with them. Simple. What isn't so simple is working out exactly what to do with the items and what to say to the characters to get anywhere in the game. Although the original game was such a classic and consequently difficult to improve upon, Lucasfilm have managed just that with the sequel. Believe it or not, the game is better on every level. The graphics are absolutely gorgeous, with exquisitely drawn backgrounds, more solid looking characters and greatly improved animation sequences. The new iMuse system also adds a new depth of feel to the game, with sound effects, atmospheric music and smooth fades from one tune to another, giving the whole game an incredibly slick presentation. Even though all this information was originally on a lot of discs, swapping didn't seem too frequent, and loading was speedy enough to keep even users without a hard drive engrossed for hours at a time. That's the part of the nostalgia for these games though. Remember the disc swapping days? And this one came on a whopping 11 discs. Thankfully, now we just fire up a WHD load. But spare some thought for us original Amiga users. The control system has been improved too. The number of control options has been stripped down from 12 to 9, losing the automatic walk to and the never used turn on and turn off making each puzzle a test of your deductive thinking, rather than having to ponder which command should be used. The inventory has also been refined, using icons to portray every object, rather than just giving a list of text. This not only makes everything look prettier, but it gives rise to a whole host of visual puzzles that aren't really possible with words. Although these refinements are superficial, they aren't the only things that have been improved about the game. For a start, the scope of the adventure is much wider. You start off limited to moving around on Scab Island, but the quest then spreads to encompass a whole range of islands, and all this before you've even found the treasure map. The depth of gameplay has also been extended requiring some serious brain stretching and head bashing at times. But the going is made immense fun by the applications of a massive helping of humour. Whereas the original game had humour in small doses littered around the game, pretty much everything you do and everyone you meet gives rise to an amusing and sometimes hilarious situation. Add the elements of the greatly improved graphics the impressive IMU system, the better control system, the bigger quests, and the funnier humour, and you've got just about the best, most enjoyable adventure that was ever made for the Amiga, or anywhere else for that matter. Right from the start, Monkey Island 2 is quite literally 
stunning. The beautifully detailed graphics, marvellously realised animation and an evocative musical soundtrack are the icing on the superbly atmospheric cake. Exciting, funny and involving, there's little likelihood of a decent night's sleep until the game's been completed. Monkey Island 2 is a masterpiece of programming and game design that deserves to be in any discerning game software collection. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Brings back a lot of memories talking about this game and really brings me back to my childhood. Where I lived, who I used to hang around with, my old school friends who shared hints with me on this game and how to get past certain parts. Just pure nostalgia. I sure do miss those simpler times, that's for sure. If you have any similar memories, then do share them with us in the comment section. So there we go. There were many spin-off titles from this game, and Ron Gilbert even concluded the whole storyline in 2022, some 30 years later, with Return to Monkey Island. But nevertheless, it was the first two originals that really hit home for me. Bloody brilliant. Thanks for watching guys, hope to see you in the next video, and until then, bye for now.